This presentation will cover the reference model for disease progression. The reference model is a prototype developed for the Mount Hood 6 challenge where diabetes models are compared and contrasted. The reference model for disease progression is a prototype. It demonstrates technology. The idea that computing power can be used to improve disease modeling tasks by checking more and more hypotheses. It's built from literature reference and hence the name, the reference model. It's also called the reference model because it's designed to serve as a reference for new equations, new models to test on new population sets. It's currently composed of three main processes, heart disease, stroke, and mortality. The reference model has a simple structure to allow future enhancements. It's based on secondary data, data that has been processed by others and published. Those publications include risk equations and clinical trials. The publication about clinical trials do not contain real individual data. This makes it much easier to share this information and allows the reference model to access more population information this way. It's also based on other publications. The reference model relies on computing power and computing techniques. It uses parallel processing to create a competition among alternative hypotheses and alternative equation sets. It cross-validates those hypotheses and equation sets against trial outcomes that are known. This is initiated with one click. After the cross-validation, the system ranks the results according to the fitness. The reference model is a fitness engine showing the fitness between hypotheses and clinical trial outcomes. The reference model is designed to accumulate knowledge by adding more and more equations and more and more population sets. The calibration process of the reference model measures the fitness of combinations of hypotheses such as biomarker changes and risk equations against multiple population cohorts with known outcomes. The calibration requires a lot of computing power due to all the variations that are tested. Fortunately, computing power is cheap today. For example, for the Mount Hood challenge where diabetes models are compared and contrasted, 48 equation variations were tested against 16 cohorts with known outcomes. Each simulation included 20 repetitions of 1,000 individuals for 10 years. The simulations are Monte Carlo simulations. Overall, there were about 15,000 processes running in the system. This took about four and a half days on a eight, single eight-core computer. At the end of the process, the best fit scenarios are selected. Actually, all the scenarios are ranked, so hypotheses and equations can now be evaluated against different population cohorts. The reference model lets the computer work for you. Computing power is cheap today. The reference model uses this fact to check many variations and assumptions in parallel. The reference model can run on a multi-core CPU or on a computing cluster, reducing time to results. The reference model accumulates knowledge by collecting information from the literature. It makes the pieces of information compete amongst themselves to improve results. Results, the best results are selected according to the fitness of the data components that were pulled from the literature. Again, the reference model is a fitness engine. For further information, please do visit my website.